Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a ColourPop haul. And I'm really excited because I ordered this a couple weeks ago. It took a little while to get here for some reason. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you guys what I got today. I'm going to do some swatches. I'm going to do a tutorial at the end. And I'm going to put timestamps in the description box. So if there's something that you see that you want to skip ahead to, um, that's fine. I'll put timestamps where you can see each thing. And let's get started. So this is what we're looking at right here. And this little card says XOXO, happy fifth birthday. <laughs> Go shawty, it's your birthday. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And a little thing that says, sorry, we're late. That's not okay. That's okay. I mean, I was really excited and you guys were late, but it's okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this ColourPop Summer Solstice Super Shock Shadow Kit which just looks like this and it comes with four individual super shock shadows like that and we're going to go ahead and get into the swatches now I'm very excited because I only have one super shock shadow so I'm super glad that I've got some more now this color is called Noontide it is described as a ultra metallic. And that's what that looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty. The next color we're going to be doing is called Sundance. And it looks like this. I'm just going to rub into that. It's a very pretty shade. Let me zoom you guys in. You can see these swatches better. Okay. The next one is called Summerside, and this one is a matte shadow, which just looks like this. Ooh. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to be that pigmented. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. This one is called Lightning Bug. How cute. And it's a ultra glitter. Whoa super shock shadow and it just looks like that Ooh, yes very very pretty now the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is with this collection they had a little thing where if you placed an order you got a free super shock shadow so of course I was gonna do that because <laughs> I was already gonna make an order anyways I'm glad I waited um, this is called birthday treat and I don't think you can buy this no it says not it says not for eye area on it. Where do they think we're going to use it? Our eyes. That's where I'm going to use it. That is like a very pink, pretty glittery shade. And now the next thing that I got is a, it didn't come in a little kit like the summer solstice one did, but this one is a kit also. And it was called something I'll have to, I'll put it in the link below. I mean in the description box below. It was something to do with blue eyes. Baby's got blue eyes I think is what it's called. And it just looks like this. And so it just came in each its individual little container. This color is called Elixir and it is a matte like a terracotta kind of shade. Let's see if I can find a new spot for it. Oh yeah. I'm really surprised by these matte shades actually. I don't know, I just thought with how the formula of Super Shock Shadows are that it wouldn't be like that with it being matte. This one's called Weenie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a child. <laughs> um, it's an ultra metallic, very pretty color. Really excited to see how this one looks. Oh, yes. That's very pretty. Holy Toledo, I can't wait to use that one. The next one is called 6AM and it's an ultra metallic. And it just looks like this. It's like a salmon glitter color. Very pretty also. I really am surprised by these Super Shock Shadows. I was nervous because the Super Shock Shadow I have is pretty transparent. Kind of. It's like more of just a glittery. Like. It, it's more so just glitter. It doesn't really pick up any pigment, and so I was worried that these would be like that, but I'm really surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is called DGAF, and it's an ultra, ultra glitter. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. These are so freaking pretty. So that's all the Super Shock Shadows. Next thing we're going to move on to is the ColourPop Main Squeeze Palette. Which I was really excited to get because I do not have an all red or pink palette. It just looks like this. You open it up. It's got a little thing inside of it and a big nice mirror. It's got a film on it so you can't, I mean won't like scratch it and mess it up. So these are what the shadows look like. We're just going to go like this all the way down. The first color is called Frosé. Frosé? Is that how you say it? Just looks like that. The next color is called Juicy Fruit. Hmm, that's like a gold, green, pink. Very weird. This color is called Home Slice. Oh yes. Very pink, red. Like it's hot. I accidentally swatched a little over that one. You can still see it though. This is a pink red and that's like a true red. I can't wait to use that. This one's called Maraschino. Ooh, yes. These are so pretty. Big gulp. That one's like a orange base red. Seed money. Very pretty. Baywatch. That's like a a brown purple red and this one's called red bottoms oh man these are really pretty I can't wait to use this palette so that's that one and the next thing or the last thing in the box not the next the last is the just my look palette now I was really excited for this because I don't have really very many green shadows and the only shadows I do have are the one that's in like my Urban Decay like Vice palettes and stuff so they're all like a really emerald dark like with blackish gray undertones so they're all the same they're pretty much all the same shade of green um, this comes with a little foofy thing in there too a mirror nice nine palettes so let me take a baby wipe and wipe my arm off so I can make a new spot for you guys to see because I ran out of arms. <laughs> I ran out of arm space. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean my fingertips off while I'm at it so I don't have any red on them. Oh my goodness. That turned that completely white, baby, white, pink. Okay. So we're going to start with this first color called Chances Are. And it looks really similar to the color of my shirt today. Hmm. I don't even know how to describe that green. It's like a pale clover color. This one's called Kiss My Hoss, like Hoss Avocado. This one's called 50-50. Oh my goodness, these are pigmented. This one's called Big Banks. This one looks pretty. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's really pretty. That's like green with a teal undertone. This one's called Mary Jane. It's like an iridescent yellow-green. All of you. <laughs> Like, I love you. Ooh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I can't wait to use that color. I love olive green colors. Act Natural. That's really pretty. That's a cool green. Mobamba. Man, these are pigmented. And this is just a green. This is a brown with a green undertone called Charmed. It's very pretty. Wow. I'm really excited to try these guys. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm going to do a tutorial with one of these. I don't know which one to use. What do you guys think? I wish you could tell. I think I'm going to do the green. Should I do the green? Or should I do a super shock shadow? I'm going to do the green because I have to. I'm going to see about peeling this. How satisfying. Why is that so satisfying? <laughs> it just is. Alright, so we're going to use this green eyeshadow palette, and I'm just going to be starting off with this IT Cosmetics Airbrush Shadow Brush. just looks like that. And I'm going to pop that Chances Are color in the crease. Now this does not have any kind of light cream shadows in it, which you guys knew I like. I think I'm just going to see if I can leave you guys zoomed in. If it starts getting blurry, I'll back you out. 
I have no idea what I'm wanting to do with this look. I just know I want to try it. It's very a very light flush. I think I'm going to go into this color Kiss My Hoss and take that a little lower into the crease. Just like that. I'm dragging it outward a little. See that shape I'm doing? Just like that. These are pigmented. That first one's not super, super pigmented, but these dark greens are. Just gonna do the same thing on this side. And go down with it. Make sure I'm even. And I'm going to take that color before I go to blending. I'm going to take Mobamba, which is the darkest green. And I'm going to pat that with the same brush. I love doing like one, two, three brush looks. Sometimes you have a look where you have to use a bunch of brushes. I'm going to see if I can make this relatively simple but look impactful. Now I am noticing a little bit of fallout, but nothing like crazy dramatic. Nothing that's going to really bother me or anything. Let me take a blending brush. This is just the Sedona Lace EB13 brush. I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure my line is nice and soft. I'm doing windshield wiper motions with also some circular buffing motions on the areas where it's a little more stubborn and I need it a little more diffused. Let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these new monochromatic ColourPop palettes that they're putting out or if you plan on getting one because I would love to know you guys opinion on how they you know are performing these are the only two of the monochromatic ones that I have so far but they just released a blue one after I ordered this and I was like guys come on and I know that they're gonna release a yellow one and I'm gonna have to get it because that is the one thing I have always wanted since I started doing makeup was yellow eye makeup for some reason because it was so different out there and no one really made it you know so now that those edges are blended out, I'm going to take a small, let's see, I'm going to take this small liner, it says cream liner brush from Smashbox, and I'm going to dip into that brown color, and I'm going to line right beneath my lash line with that. That is the strangest color. It like is truly like it's brown. I'm gonna poke my eye out. It's brown, but it's got like a green undertone. It's the craziest thing. And I'm gonna take some of that and stamp just the top outer lash line. If you don't really want to wear a liner on your top out, like wing liner or any kind of liquid liner or even pencil liner up there, because it's too harsh, a good idea to do is to take just what I'm doing right now, which is one of these thin liner brushes, and tap it into your product, and just push that product into your lash line. Not only does it give it more of like a sultry appearance, like you can see here, it also gives the appearance of thicker lashes. So you can choose to do it on the outer edge like I've done here, or you can do it all the way to over here, or your entire lash line. I wouldn't really recommend doing it all the way entered of your bottom lash line, just because it can close the eye off and make it smaller. And if you already have small eyes and that's something that you're trying to work against to make them look bigger, that's something you want to stay away from using liner on the waterline or rimming all the way under your eyes. It definitely makes them look smaller. But on the other hand, if you have big eyes or bulging eyes and you want to take them down a little bit, that's a good thing to do is to line it all the way and line the waterline. It really, really helps the illusion of 
making the eyes smaller. So like I said, I'm just packing that at the lash line. And I think what I want to do now is take this Stila number two brush. It's a little tapered fluffy guy. And I'm going to take this color all of you and I'm going to run that underneath my lashes. Very pretty weird color. You know, I'm going to use a different brush for this because I don't really like how that's working. Let's use the smudge brush from nowhere apparently. <laughs> Doesn't have a name on it anymore. This is one of my older brushes that's still one of my tried and true ones that I like to use. Um, but by now the name has done gotten smudged off with my you know hands and with multiple washings and stuff like that and so we just lined underneath the eye so what I'm gonna do now is take this Big Banks color because I have to it's so pretty I'm gonna tap that on the inner portion I'm not gonna cut my crease I was going to I brought some concealer because I thought I may want to but with how pigmented these are you don't even have to not that you necessarily have to to cut your crease but I mean I really feel like these are so ultra pigmented I don't have to or really want to and I'm gonna go in with that Mary Jane color that fluorescent -y. and I'm just using my fingers for these because I feel like that's probably the better thing to do with these shimmers I'm tapping that right there and then I'm gonna go in with that Mary Jane color again and I'm gonna go beneath the color I just laid the olive you olive you okay and with the same smudger brush I'm taking that Mobamba I know no I'm sorry charmed the brown shade and I'm just packing it on the outer little corner right here and then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush a little bit of a tighter one this time this is just the Elizabeth Mott blending brush it doesn't have a number on it I just want to go in and make sure that everything is uniform blend that brown out a wit a wit a wee bit and while I'm at it I'm just diffusing the lines between those two colors so it's more of a gradient than three harsh blocks of color this is gonna be a look for sure hmm. and I'm just gonna take some more of that chances are color that really light shade and tap it into the top now this may not be a look that you necessarily want to wear because it's so green but if you're adventurous with makeup or bold or you just don't care and you want to do it anyways I feel like these kinds of colors are really good to do I'm pretty adventurous with my makeup and I like to do different things so next we're gonna go to blush this is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in quirky just a nice pink shade I already have my foundation and contour done and brows obviously as I do I normally have those done and I finally stopped talking about it and posted a video of how I do my foundation if you want to check that out I'll link it up here you guys can check that out it's obviously not going to be a super exciting video because it's about your foundation. I think I'm going to see how this is going to look. This is called Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal by Sugar Cosmetics in number three green light. And it just looks like that. I think I'm going to put some of that in my waterline and see how that looks. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I like how that looks with this. It's just a nice additional green. And I'm going to go in with a blending brush that's clean with no product on it. And I'm going to make sure my edges are really buffed out. 
because when I just looked in the viewfinder it did not look as buffed out as I wanted it to back and forth circles back and forth okay and now let's see for lips I don't know if I want to use the highlighter that I brought for this I feel like this needs a white highlighter hmm. I feel like this might not look right I don't know I don't think I'm gonna use that highlighter because I don't think it's gonna look right I'm gonna use a white based one but I didn't bring a white one with me I just brought that one so I'm gonna apply that after the video okay I'm just curling my lashes and I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara This is really such a look. And like I said, if this is too bold ow, for everyday wear, you can do it for St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, Halloween. If it's too, you know, out there for your taste, you can wear it just special occasions. Come up with your own variation of it. And I'm very excited to try those Super Shock Shadows. I'm, I'm sure I'm just going to make a tutorial because I'm not going to be able to wait. I'm sure I'll just make a tutorial on those later this week. Either my Wednesday or Friday video. I'm probably going to use those. Because I'm really excited to try them. And I got a little mascara, duh, <laughs> on me because I do it every time. I just spilled my brushes. Well, I didn't. I didn't even touch them. I don't know what just happened. They just fell. Do the bottom lash line. I'm trying to figure out what kind of lips is going to look right with this look. What would you wear with this look? Probably just a neutral lip, right? You don't want to do anything too crazy. And I'm going to take that Q-tip again. I swear, guys, do you have that problem with your lashes where they touch your skin? Or is it just me? Alright, for lips... I'm going to take just a nude. Let's take a, first let's take a lip liner, and then we're going to take a nude lipstick. This is just the NYX Pale Pink. Uh, it just says lip liner. It's not any kind of specific one. We're going to take this and line our lips with that. Now, whenever I do a nude, like the nude I'm fixing to use, I always like to line my lips because it's so light. And I feel like it helps just give it a little bit of a contrast of color. Now, this is the um, Kate. Is it just called Kate? Uh, Long Lasting Finish by Kate. It's from Rimmel. And... It just looks like this. It's one of my favorite drugstore nudes. This is actually a brand new one. Um, and it just gives a little contrast to that nude lip. And what I like to do after I do that is top it off with just a little bit of some kind of gloss. So let's use, I think I'm just going to stick with one of my favorites to use for this combination, which is the Smashbox Pink Pout. I'm 
Okay. And this is the finished look. I'm oh, sorry, I kicked my camera. Alright, that's it for today and I hope you guys like this. Remember, I'm going to put the timestamps in the description box for each watches and what time that I did them and I hope you guys try to recreate this look. Let me know in the comments below, do you have any of those palettes and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming videos, especially with all these super shock shadows I just got because I'm going to be posting some looks with those. and. Also, a spoiler alert is I did me a little dose of color shopping, so we're going to have some of those tutorials maybe next week or either at the end of this week. I'm not quite sure yet, but you guys are going to want to check that out because I'm really excited for those. And I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!